Good morning everybody and welcome to IR Photo Tours where I'm going to do something completely different today. I'm going to introduce you to colour grading. been trying to do this for a little while now. I've been trying to colour grade without using C-Log, so it's been straight from the camera's own profile basically, and it's not really working very well for me. Um, however, I do feel that I've really cracked it now, and I've been looking and learning and uh, developing my skills and what have you with this C-Log and, and colour grading, and I feel that I could have cracked it. So this video is all about how I've managed to get C-Log into the camera, because some cameras don't have C-Log, some do. Canon EOS R has an 8-bit C-Log, um, and when you shoot in that C-Log, you can color grade and really get the contrast right, get the, uh, get the lights, get the darks right, you know, the highlights and the low lights, get them all really nice. And look, make it look really spectacular. You can then put some colour grade it really well so you can have your um, orange and teal effect and all that sort of thing. And it, and it looks great and it looks really, really, really professional looking. I brought this new camera now and it's called the M6 Mark II. And the M6 Mark II doesn't have C-Log and the only way to get C-Log into it is through basically online. You can actually transfer it and get it onto and upload it onto your camera. So now we have that, and it's called um, C-Log3. Now, I've done that. I've in introduced that into the Canon M6. Well, this is a uh, test between CineStyle Movie Profile and C-Log3, and see what we come up with. And also, the standard plain format for uh, video. So this is C-Log3 and we'll go on to Sin Style. Okay, so this is Sin Style. So, a bit weird, isn't it? So it's um, not a flat look to the image. So, as you can see, very quite colorful, actually. So I don't see how we're gonna be able to uh, color grade this a lot, but we'll find out. Back in a moment, just changing. And this is another C-Log format as well so again looking a bit colorful for me so I'm not quite sure what's going on there but we'll see how we can color grade all of these so that's a, a C log 3 plus if you like um, so we'll, we'll go from there so what we're going to do now is uh, color grade this one which is the C log 3 which is a very very flat um, lifeless colorless uh, really awful looking image really at the moment and uh, we'll then color grade this to the best we can get it and I have installed C-Log3 on here specifically C-Log3 so C-Log3 seems to be like we could do a huge amount with it so that's what we're going to try and test now and I'm just looking at my eye focusing thing on this M6 Mark II and it's amazing, but I'm not going to digress. Um, here's the C-Log 3 colour graded. So as you can see, C-Log 3 is colour graded. This is what you're getting. So how's that? Does that look better? Does it look worse? I don't know. Until we get it on the big screen, on a 4K screen, don't know. And while we're on that subject, I'm also videoing in 4K, so just to give that a mention as well. And I'm also in my home studio with the back green screen. So this is color graded. That green screen wasn't particularly nice, but it is now. So yeah, you can see what, what the uh, C-Log 3 gives you, very much like the C-Log in the Canon EOS R that you get in the 8-bit uh, C-Log that you get. Yeah, it's, I think it's quite good actually. 
so it gives you a little bit more scope on when you're videoing outdoors. It's a little bit like, all I can sort of refer this C-Log to is uh, a little bit like raw images really in your, in your camera. So you, why do we do, why do we put our images into raw? Well, so we want the contrast, we want to gain, you know, we want the raw information, we want all that information in a file um, rather than have the camera edit the image for us and then of course get home and the sky's too bright or the stones are too dark or whatever you know so basically we've got full control of our images in in a raw file the same applies to c-log um, and c-log gives you full control of your movie and the contrast the lights the darks the colors um, and everything else so basically that's what it gives you so again this is this is c log and as you can see very flat image and this is what you'd expect to kind of see in a raw image this is your c log upgraded and cleaned up and color graded and contrasted and all that information put back into it so that's what it gives you so pretty cool i think really cool i didn't even know this existed until a few oof, good few months ago and i've been t playing about with c-log and the color grading throughout and um you know it's it's been enjoyable but i've not really up until now not really cracked it so to speak because the the, the canon m6 mark ii doesn't have c-log you have to install it and it certainly doesn't have uh, the sin cine mode either that you have to install that i can't remember what that's called <laughs> i had it on file just a minute ago but anyway there's two modes a bit like c-log but it's i think c-log's better it's flatter so it gives you more scope to play with but anyway that's enough for me thank you very much for watching bye for now